we are going to learn how to use observable object with uh, while using login and logout and swift ui and for that uh, we'll run the xcode and uh, we'll create a new project here which will be ios and the app and uh, we'll uh, rename this as uh, demo login app okay and it should be using swift ui and swift and i'm going to save it here and create a grid repository for this as well and i'll be closing this and keeping in full screen and also i'll be using a focus mode here for some time because i do not want to be disturbed currently uh, so instead of text hello world i'll be using the v stack and in this we'll have two text fields for the password and email uh, or just uh, one for sample purposes or this should be name name and this should be string and i'll be keeping this empty and it will be taking a text field which should say that it's a name and the text in here is a binding string which is the name okay and also i will be having some padding for this and i'll be adding a button for this so the button is uh, will be named as login and button should for the time being print whatever name i add here and i'll be running this on a simulator for the test purposes i'll be just working on it from here only okay it's not working uh, let me run it on iphone 13 pro and whatever the name i give for example i give adam and it should be printing adam here uh, right so for now i'll uh, now let us create a class for observable object which will be a swift file and the name of the file is user settings i'll be keeping it because we are setting some settings for the user here and it should be confirming to you observable object and whenever a class is conformed to a user observable object uh, it should have a variable uh, published variable that is what i am creating here and it let's keep this uh, is logged in it is a boolean <coughs> type and uh, it has a return uh, i'll be setting a did set for this uh, where I am uh, setting a user default for this which is uh, set uh, uh, here I am setting the its value for key uh, which is login uh, this is uh, uh, it's saying like uh, uh, it's saying an error that it has no initializers and so I shall initialize this thing where i am keeping the value of whenever the class initialized i'm keeping the value of this thing as false so uh, so this uh, is working and now in the content view um, i am looking for that environment environment object which is of type user settings okay if i run this it shall give me an error maybe okay it's uh, it's uh it's running fine for now okay and now if i click on login it's uh, still giving this thing and now i shall be using this settings to change the uh page or the showing the the user has logged in so whenever the e button uh, user clicks on login settings should be set to 
settings dot is logged in uh, value should be set to true which we shall be working here only on uh, we'll be looking for if settings well dot is logged in is true at that time we'll show a text saying uh, the user name is logged in and if it's not true then we shall be showing this login page and i'll end it it for now and if i run it again so it shall be working fine maybe okay yeah so it's showing that uh, there's no missing ancestor in this so this is the error i was looking for earlier so for this we have to inject the observable object to the uh, to the environment so well, that can be added from here here i shall be uh, uh, just passing in the user settings here directly and this shall work fine now so if i click here and press and write the theorem some it's changing this name to theorem is logged in the same is now if i uh, close the app and uh, run it again so it's taking it should be logged in right but it's taking me to the uh, to the login page again for this that's why i used a user defaults here i am saving this login in the user defaults the value of the login currently it's uh, it's actually true but uh, since it's not getting ba it back it's keeping it as true of it's not uh, like it's only keeping it as false now for this i'll be checking here in the else statement i'll be checking for if user defaults dot standard and bool for key login equals to true at that time i'll be again showing this else i'll be showing this so and uh, again intending it so now user defaults is true currently because the last time i logged in it should be true so it it should be showing this and even if it's not it's showing the log, log login page currently it should show me this page this thing when i run it again the log yeah it's not passing any value here because i not passed the previously but it's uh, saying it's log logged in so for now i'll be creating a button or let me create another view here struct mm. uh, log should be view bar body and it should be returning a text uh, v stack perhaps in the text uh, user is logged in and a button log out and it should be uh, let's pass a uh, same environment variable to this as well okay and uh, instead of this now i shall be writing uh, logged in view and passing the en environment object as setting and the same shall be true for this thing here so if i run it again it's still logged in i shall log it out and and now i am logging the theorem again and it's saying user is logged in and now if i close the app and run again it should work as expected
log out I run again it's still on the login page so that's how we can use observable object to uh, keep the user signed in or signed out state hope this will help you